Hello guys, welcome to this video. My name is Maurice Aizawa and today I want to share with you a very useful tip regarding Facebook lead ads form. Uh, I'm not sure if you're running this kind of ads that you can collect uh, leads information directly on the Facebook. Let me show you how to automate this process because the standard is when you collect the leads you need to go to your fan page and uh, download the collected leads in a CSV file and you can import in your system. But using Zapier you can automate this process in the moment that you collect the lead uh, Facebook will send it to uh, your target system. In this video I I'm going to send it to a Google Sheet. So let me show you. The first requirement, of course, you need to have a fan page and uh, log into your fan page and go to the publishing tools like this. Uh, click on publishing tools. You're going to see a section called lead ad forms. And yep, this is it. And uh, just clicking forms library so you can see all the forms that you have and uh, you have the option to create a new one. So we are going to create the form now. Uh, you need to have secondarily uh, uh, a Google Sheet that you need to set up and your Z Zapier account. All right, so let's go back here, set up the form. So I will create a new form. You can duplicate or create a new one. I will set up a new one for you so you can see it. Uh, this is the, uh, the, the wizard to create a new form. So first thing you need to define the, the form name. So let's say uh, Zapier uh, form uh, you, uh, Farm test, okay, that's it. Farm test, uh, okay. Now I have those those options: form type, intro questions, and this is the way that the form is uh, will look like for the for your lead. Okay, so uh, this is for more volume. Okay, let me use it, this specific one. You can use a second one. Uh, intro is optionally, but uh, I will set up because it's nice. So you can you can define a headline. Let's say uh, get my five. Uh, awesome Zapier uh, automations okay that's it let me upload the image I have an image so it's going to appear like this nice uh, you can add a paragraph um, get my uh, ebook now okay that's it you can add other things like you can add the characters like bullets uh, what, what they are going to find inside of uh, your ebook okay so it's up to you uh, go to the next let's say the questions now you can define uh, what are the information that you want to collect from your leads so uh, standard is email full name you can click here and show more options. Let's say I want you to take the city and I want you to take the phone number, okay? Two more informations, that's it. You can add some custom fields. If you want to run a survey, if you want to take more, uh, what uh, the leads is uh, thinking about some specific question you, you make. So that's it. Let me do this. Privacy policy. So you need to define this, this is a requirement. So uh, you can define here, oops, privacy policy, okay. Uh, and for this, you, uh, you need to link with your website privacy policy. So just type here the link of your website with the privacy policy. Uh, I will just type in my website here and the thank you, okay. Uh, everything like this. On the thank you page, you have some options of CTA. For example, you can add to download. So after uh, submit the form, they can just download directly on Facebook or you can send it to your website or to call a business. Let's say I will send it to my website. That's it. And uh, everything was filled. If I just hit finish, it will save. Uh, but let's say I will, let me add without the description. Okay, that's it. Let me try to save so you can see it, okay? It's appearing, everything is green, but this specific one is pending, okay? So that's good because you, you know uh, what is pending and you can just fix and try again. And at the end, this is the, the way that my form is going to look like, all right? That's it, good. Let me finish, Zapier form test, good. Save it. Forms library, Zapier form test is here. If I hit preview, I am able to see my form. 
that's it my city my phone number you see that is automatically loaded based on the leads uh, information on Facebook okay let me cancel and uh, now I will set up the Zapier I have the Google Sheet let's set up Zapier make a zap okay now select the Facebook uh, it's important that it's a premium app so you need a paid plan uh, this is the trigger when new leads just arrive Facebook this is my account I will select what is the page that my farm is connected okay you can have many pages managing your account so select the one and Zapier form test that we have just created that's it awesome ready okay the Facebook part the trigger part is ready I can load some samples to see okay I have one here that is the dummy one as I, I have just created this form and haven't submit anything it's uh, Facebook is going to appear some test data okay for you to match uh, the right meta meta that data here to your target system it's good so now it's Google shit like this uh, what is the action I will create a new spreadsheet row when this happened with the lead information this is my account uh, what is the spreadsheet this is one leads at Zapier form as you can see here what is the worksheet that is the page one awesome and right now it will bring name and email remember that we have the phone and city let me do the follow I will do here like phony and city that's good okay go back to Zapier refresh the fields and we can see now good so go to the name full name go to the email and take the email phone and you have the phone and city city what is city if you have a long list you can do like this you can just go here and type city city is here okay that's it finish continue awesome I can send a test let's see if it's working yes it is awesome okay finish now it's ready just add the name Facebook leads to Google ship switch on and your lead capture is ready now you can run some Facebook ads and uh, yeah you create a campaign and associate with this form to collect the leads and uh, as soon as the lead just send the information uh, Zapier will run and will send here okay let me do a test and see if you can see right now okay can just go here and submit this information okay this is what's going to happen and uh, sometimes Facebook takes some some minutes to run this let me see if it just run mm. I think not yet let me see here yeah not yet uh, what you can do here just a secondary tip that is this link called Facebook developers.facebook.com barra tools leads at testing so you can do some tests because when you submit the form you can with your profile is just once it will take some minutes and after some minute it's going to appear here all right guys after some minutes I can see now my Facebook test so when you when you do this wait some minutes because okay, it has some kind of delays in order to send the information but just wait and you are going to see here okay I hope you enjoyed this video and this automation uh, if you want to learn more about Zapier how Zapier can automate your process your business process and you can integrate with other systems uh, learn more check out my course I have an online course about Zapier I will leave the links here on the description and if you have any questions leave your comments below uh, new suggestions new automations that you would like to see so I can uh, create new videos for you uh, if you like it just hit subscribe to help this channel subscribe for new coming videos and see you in the next time see you bye bye